What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the strongest Pokemons for this series, which is Gigantamax Colossal. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. Everybody who likes up the videos, everybody who tunes in and watches, and all the subscribers to the channel. Seriously, thank you guys so much. But this team right here is looking amazing. Steam Engine Colossal is definitely going to be one of the strongest Pokemon in this series because he has a Gigantamax form. His Gigantamax move is actually very solid. And just proccing that Steam Engine and Weakness Policy gives him huge attack boost and huge speed boost to just dominate the battle. But this team also features uh, Life Orb Salamence, who is going to be very, very fun to use, and Zacian, which is the best restricted mod. But let's get started here. In that top left corner, we're going to showcase Zacian. First of all, he's still going to be the best restricted mod. He's hands down going to be the best restricted mod, and this is because of his move, Behemoth Blade. That's double damage to Dynamax Pokemon. And with Dynamax Pokemon out of the format in last series, he wasn't able to really use that move to its fullest potential. So now that it's back, he's just dominating this meta. You're going to be seeing him a lot in Master Bolt here. You're going to be seeing him a lot across this channel because he's just, just so good. He really is. So anytime a Dynamax Pokemon is on the field, try to get that Zacian out there. He can do double damage with Behemoth Blade, and then on top of that, he gets that attack boost, making him do even more damage. He's got Interpret Sword as his ability, Rust Sword as his item, and then Protect, Iron Head, Sacred Sword, and Substitute for its moveset. Right next to him is going to be that Water and Fighting Urshifu with Unseen Fist, so we can hit through Protects. I absolutely love that ability. I just want to get that out of the way. That ability is so much fun to use, especially when you know somebody's going to Protect, and you have Urshifu out on the field, you're just going to be like, nah. I'm hitting through that protect. I love it so much. But Focus Ash as an item, and then the move set of Detect, Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, and Aqua Jet for first turn priority. So, with Urshfu, you can actually use Aqua Jet to get that first turn priority and proc Steam Engine and Weakness Policy on Colossal. But that is really like and only if you have to kind of thing because it is way better to proc the weakness policy and steam engine with your dragapult surf because it's not stab and it's not going to do as much damage when you use aqua jet it can do up to like half his health which is really really detrimental so i'd rather proc the policy and steam engine with that dragapult well speaking of dragapult we'll get right into him right below the urge field he's got breaking swipe to four attack drops and stab damage surf to proc the policy and steam engine like we've just been talking about will a wisp for burns on physical attackers and late screen to help us soak up special attacking shots it also has clear body ability and safety goggles as its item right next to him is going to be a heavy attacker for the squad that's going to be salamence love this pokemon so much it's got intimidate which is a phenomenal ability in this series it's going to be able to drop physical attack and then we got that life orb as an item to make this pokemon hit even harder we got protect dual wing beat and outrage for our stat moves and rock slide for coverage Right below him is going to be the heart and soul of the team. Like I've been saying, one of the strongest Pokemon for this series. That is going to be Steam Engine Colossal with Gigantamax. This thing can Gigantamax, which is amazing. And his Gigantamax move is phenomenal. It basically works like Charizards or Venusaurs. It just does pester damage at the end of every single turn. We got the Steam Engine ability, Weakness Policy, as you already know. Protect, Meteor Beam for Stab, Heat Wave for Stab, and then Solar Beam for Coverage and Terrain Control when Dynamax or Gigantamax. Final Pokemon on squad, one and only Rillaboom. Love this guy, so good in any single team, just works well all around. He's got Grassy Surge for terrain control, Assault Vest for its item, and then U-Turn, Grassy Guide, Knock Off to take off items, and Fake Out for flinches. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Series 11 Gigantamax Colossal team. If you guys have been keeping up with my Series 11 content, you would know that we are sitting at 6-0. We have two videos posted with two Series 11 scenes, and we have a perfect record in both of them. So hopefully we can grab ourselves a win, keep that undefeated streak rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Yvelta team, alongside with Liberio Cinerage, which is very, very strong. He has the Roar Bell Ninetales, he has the Sableye, and then he has also has the Urshfu and the Regilecki. I think we can just easily go into Steam Engine Colossal here. I think this is looking like an easy dub with Steam Engine Colossal just rolling out from there. Definitely want to bring in Zacian because he's an absolute beast in this format. And then I think final Pokemon is going to be Urshifu. I just think Urshifu is great in this back end here. Especially with the Focus Ash, with the first turn priority moves like such as Aqua Jet. And he just hits like a truck all around. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Let's get after this, guys. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one and keep that undefeated streak rolling. I think the most wins I had in a row on recording is eight. We never had three perfect records in a row. Never on this channel, but my win, my most or my highest winning streak, win streak, bleh, can't speak. My highest win streak in this game is 13. I think I got it on stream when I used to stream online content, which uh, streams are coming back very, very soon. Very, very soon. I'm definitely going to be doing like series 11 content before Diamond and Pearl comes out. So we can rock out with that. And then when Diamond and Pearl comes out, we're going to be doing live streams, guides, playthroughs, everything there is about to with that game. 
But he goes in with these two, which oh, I'm totally fine with. I'm totally fine with this. Um, I think, do I just take out Yavelta or do I take out Cinderace? What's the play here? Yavelta or Cinder? Who's gone? Who am I taking out? I think Cinder's got to go, right? I think Cinder's got to go. Let's take out Cinderace because he might Dynamax that thing. I can honestly see him Dynamaxing Cinderace. I'm not even going to lie. G-Max Cinderace? There is a G-Max form for that. There is a G-Max form. Really, really cool. But I didn't even get asked you guys a question of the day. But what team have you guys been using for Series 11? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know what other teams you guys would like to see me showcase. Because I have a bunch of teams. And if you guys have rental codes for me, send them in my Instagram DMs. I would absolutely love it. I would absolutely love it. But uh, he ends up hard swapping the belt. I think we're going for it. When we're going after Cinderace, baby. When we're going after Cinderace. Thinking I'm going after you, Belta. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, yo. Let's Dynamax this big dog. Let's Dynamax this big dog. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is absolutely amazing. Especially when you're going up against a team like this where they can't really do anything with, with it. It's really tough. It is really tough. He could be rocking Aqua Jet. This thing is going to go for a Sucker Punch. He's going to switch his typing. And I think we still take it out. Well, that, that's going to actually take me out, isn't it? No, it's not. That's lovely. That is lovely. That is lovely. We end up going into that. That's huge. That is huge news right here. Later, Cinderace. Get that Cinderace out my face. And we're going to get Volklift damage to chip away, which is even better. The Volklift damage is amazing. It can almost do like full health after four turns. But more importantly, it can take off Focus Ash to say if the Earth is rocking with it. But Earth Spirit already got hit by a Surf, which is awesome. Later, Cinderace. Volklift, chip it away. So now we have speed. I can set up a late screen if I want. I can start throwing burns left and right. We know he has Yvelta in the back, and he's either going to have to pull out the Yvelta. Or show his final Pokemon. So we could go into an Aqua Jet here. I can definitely see an Aqua Jet rolling out here, but Aqua Jet will not kill me. I know Aqua Jet will not kill me because I have an Earth of my own and it will not kill me. He's gonna pop out in the Red Jalecky, which is totally fine. Which is totally fine. Uh I could go into another Volkleth, or I could set a terrain. Or I could set heat. I could set heat. What do I want to do here? Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? That's my best bet here. I mean, setting heat would probably be my best bet. So let's take you out, and I think I'm just going to surf. Or I could just break and swipe. I think break and swipe is going to be my play. Just in case one of these guys are sashed, we can bring them down and then take them out so they can't even get a hit. But we'll see what this dude's play is. Let's see this dude's play. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. Who's he Dynamax? Show me the Regilecki. Show me the Reggie. I can honestly see it being the Urshfu. Let's see. It is going to be Urshfu. So we should be able to outspeed and get off a breaking swipe. Unless Regilecki is going to take out my Dragon Ball. Let's see. Let's see the play. Let's see this dude's play. We still have Rezassian in the back, which is huge. Max player is going to come out here. If he's going for a water move, that's going to neglect a lot of damage. Hopefully this thing's not sashed. It is not. Yo, that's huge. That is huge. Let's go, baby. So, G-Max Urshfu coming out on the field. He hits through guards. Gotta watch out for that. Actually, just his move hits through the max guard. The Breaking Swipe's going to fly through, which is great because that's going to give him an attack drop. You love to see it. You love C. And he's going for a rapid flow, which you might be able to eat up. We do, yo. Thank you, Heat. Thank you, Heat. Yo, that move looks sick. And he did not change up the terrain because that move cannot do it. Loving it. Okay, I'm going to predict the max guard coming out here. And just drop another. Uh... I'm going to predict the max guard, and I'm going to go after the Yvelta slot. I'm just going to drop a bulk with on the Yvelta. This match should be pretty much wrapped up. But, yo, I'm telling you, when you go up against teams like this, that can't well when you see that they can't really do anything up against colossal it's pretty much just a free win it is pretty much just a free win which is absolutely amazing it's just absolutely amazing but this team really does struggle up against trick room team so hopefully we don't go up against any of them but he cancels battle right there we dominate with colossal we go seven and oh so far and grab ourselves a win in our first battle for today's video yes sir the win streak continues on we're sitting at 7 and 0 for series 11 1 and 0 in today's video let's make it 2 and 0 and 8 and 0 at the same time here in battle number two we're going up against a very strong ground on charizard being this team right here that also features umbreon incineroar and reginald so I'm trying to think how i should play this one i really want to go into steam engine again because that can work super super well but our only problem would be if he goes into venusaur and Groudon. If he goes into Venusaur and Groudon, then he can just put me to sleep. But I'm willing to take that risk right here. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm willing to take that risk and saying he's not doing that. I mean, I could actually go... Ooh, 
Or do we say he does and we go into Rillaboom Boom and Salamence? Options, options, options. Options, man. But I say no. I say we don't do that. I say we don't do that and bring in our Intimidate Pokemon. Or do we bring in Rillaboom? Boom? Hmm. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? What, what, what do I want to do here? Let's so bring in our Intimidate Pokemon. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to say he doesn't lead the Venusaur. And if he does, we could have led the Rillaboom and Salamence because I was thinking I could just fake out and then just a dual wing beat slap up. Pretty much pick up a KO with a Life Orb Salamence stab damage and super effective. But I'm going to say he doesn't. I'm going to say he, he he's not about that. I'm say he's not a gangster. He's, he's not a gangster. He's not about that Venusaur ground on life. He goes charge on the ground. All right, we win it. We win it all day. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So he gets out the drought. That's going to make us do less damage with our server. And we just go and drop a vocalist. We are just going to drop a vocalist. So the scary part here is going to be that ground move coming into us. And the real question is, do we think he is going to... I could honestly just do this. And go after ground on. And say he doesn't Dynamax around on, and he goes for maybe a Protect with a Charizard. It goes into a Bleed. Options, options, options. I'm going to say he does that. We doing this. We are doing this. We're making reads here. We're making reads here. I'm going to say he potentially Dynamaxes to Charizard here, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He potentially going to Max Guard and Charizard. Yeah. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that. And then I'm thinking he just goes into Blades here. That's, what, that's exactly what I'm thinking here. That's what I'm thinking. So hopefully this match over with King KO here. The speed is definitely on our side. Speed is definitely on our side after we get off the surf. Let's see what he does here. Let's see his play. If we make this read and this KOs, oh my lord, I'm the best Pokemon doubles battle player ever. Across YouTube, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Show me the guard. Show me the guard. See it. Make it happen. Just not. Ugh. Ugh. He does not guard. Okay, so he does not guard here. So maybe he does have to pull. I mean, what other move is he going to go for? Maybe an airstream? But he's definitely going for blades, man. He's definitely going for blades. Surprised he didn't. We could have just bulk lift and took him out. That could have been big. But let's see if this overgrowth does have the oomph to take this thing out. I think it should, right? It does indeed have the oomph. We take out a grout on there. We know we outspeed Charger unless he goes for an airstream there. Unless he goes for an airstream. But I don't see Charger doing so much damage to my uh my Colossal. Let's see what he's gonna go for. He's just gonna go for an airstream, probably into Dragon Pole, right? Yeah. And that is gonna say bye-bye to Pole. Pole is gone. Pole is out of the game. So he gets a speed boost there. I wonder if we can still outspeed. I wonder if we can still outspeed. I think we did make a right call taking out that grout on over to the Charizard. Because if that Groudon would have got off a, uh, if that Groudon would have gotten off a, uh, a, what is it? What is it even called? I can't even think of it. If we would have gotten off a Blades, we probably would have died there. That's four times super effective for us. But, uh, do I go into Zassi and force the Fire Move to come across? Or do I just go into Salamence? Maybe just go into Salamence. Maybe he drops a physical attack around the back end. But I can definitely see maybe Venusaur coming in here. Let's see. Let's see the play. Yep, there's the Venusaur. Okay, now the real question is, do we think Venusaur outspeeds us? Do we think Venusaur outspeeds us? Actually, he is going to outspeed us. He's going he's gonna to try to put my Colossus to sleep here. I could guard, I could protect. He's just going to go for an airstream. I think we're just going to double down, try to get off some damage. He's going to airstream, give the speed boost to Venusaur. He's going to go from there. That's definitely his play. And then try to land a sleep powder, which he probably will. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to lose our first one. I don't want to lose our first for series. Oh, we outspeed. We still outspeed. Let's go. Let's go. Take this thing out. Take this thing out. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Loving it. Loving it. Vocal damage is chipping away. I don't mind if he puts Colossal to sleep now. We outspeed the Venus for more importantly. I thought Charizard would be able to outspeed us, even though we are plus six. Team Engine Cost is just too good. He's going to go for a Sleep Powder over onto Salamence. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm so cool with that. That was not looking good for us. In my head, I was just like, dude, he's airstreaming. He's put my, my big boy to sleep. But, yo, we still got an extra turn left. 
We still got an extra turn left, and now Volcal damage is chipping away. And we know we outspeed the Venusaur, which is enormous. Which is the Pokemon I should probably take out here. I still have my lovely little Zacian in the back end. Yo, we looking to go 8-0, 2-0 in this video? Don't want to really get my hopes up yet. But, you know, Red's lucky I'm not really worried about you. I'm not really worried about you. Uh, I guess we'll go into a dual wing beat if I could. Actually, we'll try to go for a rock side. And then do I just flare? Yeah, let's just flare into his Venusaur. If he protects, we could potentially still kill through it. Let's see. He could cancel battle. But I think his play is going to be trying to sleep powder on me. But we outspeed him. We outspeed him. He's either going to go for the sleep powder or go for the protect. So we can take this thing out. That's pretty much GG's. Let's see what happens here. Unless he can E web outspeed me. Reg's like he's just going to protect. Reggie is just going to protect. Is he going to do the same with Venusaur? Just not. Venusaur out my game. Yo, we dominate in Series 11. We are crushing Series 11. That is how it's done. That is how it's done, yo. We are already in Master Tier. We got Master Tier at the end of the last video. So both these battles have been in the Master World Tier. Yo, it comes down to a lovely, a lovely little 3v1 situation here. Lovely little 3v1. But it was a great call by from me going into Max Overgrowth into Ground on Turn 1. That was awesome. And then I really did think we were going to lose. I thought Charizard was faster than us with plus one. But guess not. Guess not. I always underestimate the speed of a plus six Colossal. If, of a plus six Colossal. He's just flying. He's just ripping apart. We are going to Outrage here. And I am just, I can't drop a Meteor Beam. <laughs> I was going to drop a Meteor Beam, but that's a two-turn move. And the reason... I know you guys are probably wondering, you know, like, Jeans, why you have Meteor Beam on Colossal. It's because it's special attacking. It makes his special attacking so he's not physical. And Intimidate cannot affect this. But... Heat wave comes through, takes out his final Pokemon. We're sitting at 2-0. Oh. Let's hop to our third and final battle and let's grab ourselves a perfect record. This is where boys become men in the third and final battle when looking for a perfect record. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team. I should say a Trick Room Ice Rider Calyrex team that also features Twerkle, G Max Lapras, Malwak, Mimikyu for Trick Room, Urshfu, and Ice Rider Calyrex. Uh, this one's going to be tough. This might be the end of a road here. Might be the end of the road here. If he plays this right, he could pop a trick room and kind of just get rolling on our squad. But I'm trying to think of how we should play this one and how we can go about it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Rillaboom and Zassian here. I think Rillaboom and Zassian is definitely the play. And then we are going to bring Salamence and Urshfu in the back end. These are going to be our team. This is going to be our squad. We're going to leave the Steam Engine Colossal combo out of this one. Even though we showcased it in the last two battles, I didn't even want to use it if we had the shot to just dominate the battle with it in this third one. Because I want to show off the Salamence and this other squad a little bit more. But I do think this squad is actually better for this. Say he leads a Mimikyu, we could glide and go into a Behemoth Blade and take out. Let's just see what he does. We got to see what his lead is first of all. Because again, if he gets off Trick Room, mm, mm, it's not looking good for us if he does. It is not looking good for us, but yo, this will be the first time recording. I go 3 0 in three videos in a row, but it, dude, it's, I don't know, man. It's looking tough, man. We've been playing so good. We've been playing so good. We've been making some great reads. We've been doing everything perfectly in Series 11. I've just been loving the series so much. Been very fun using different Pokemon or Pokemon that we haven't used in a while. It's just been a lot of fun. It really has been. He's going to throw out the Mimikyu and Calyrex, and this is really what I was expecting here. I was, I'm expecting him to actually go into a Protect with the Calyrex. And then us just going into the Grassy Glide, into the Behemoth Blade, and taking out Mimikyu. I really do think that's the play. And this is exactly why I led these two, because I, I'm i predicting him going into Calyrex and Mimikyu. But now I'm going to predict again and say he protects and goes for a Trick Room, thinking my Behemoth Blade is going into Calyrex. Or I'm faking him out when we're really not. We're reading the Protect hard, we're Grassy Glide and taking off the Skies, and then we are just ripping through this thing with the Behemoth Blade. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Show me protect. Ah, let's go. Let's go. I'm so good. I'm so good. I'm just so good. Get this guy out my game. Get him out of here. We are buzzing now. We are buzzing now. We say later, Mimikyu. Mimikyu's dead 100%. Calyrex can't protect. He's going to be dead next turn. That's pretty much GG's. Pretty much GG's. Get him out of here. No trick room for you, dog. No trick room for you. Ah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> the reeds, baby. The reeds. The reeds. The reeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So he could swap. He could swap. Do I still drop a blade here? Or do I predict the swap? We're going to take off his bone here. Definitely taking off his bone. And if he wants to, I could actually sub up.
No, we're gonna go for a blade here. We're gonna pose this threat. We're gonna pose this threat. If Zassian goes down, Zassian goes down. But he's gonna out. Ooh. 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 Okay, I, I dig it. I dig the ally switch. Little, little nice little play there. Going through this. This shouldn't even do that much damage, right? I mean, about half. I'm with it all day. If we get rid of this thing's uh, item here, we good. We get rid of uh, your item. What are you holding in? Super effective. What item were you rocking, man? This is Lumberry. His lovely little Lumberry and a Glacial Lance is going to fly through, which will take out my Robin, probably. I could see him Dynamaxing. But Zassian should be able to eat. Robin gone. And now we bring out... Ooh, I could bring out Urshifu. I think I'm going to save my Dynamax or... Or do I Dynamax with uh, Urshifu? What's the, what's the play here? Do I Dynamax with Urshifu? Do I read the ally switch? Uh, what do I do? What's Genius play here? What's that play here? What is my play here? I say we save our Dynamax for Urshifu. And we go into an Aqua Jet and protect. I think that's our play. Aqua Jet. And then just protect. I'm not going to read Alice. I don't, I don't think he goes back to back Alice, which is... I really don't think that's happening. Let's see this dude's play. If I get rid of this Malwap, he could be sitting really pretty here. He could oh he could Dynamax Malwap. I, I just don't I just don't see him Dynamax Malwap, right? Especially without Trick Room. Just not Dynamax. That's cool. I'm with it. He's putting up a fight here. And he does not go into the Alice, which great turn by us. This should be able to KO, right? Mmm. Mmm. That one hurts. That one hurts a little bit. Mmm. That one definitely hurts. And he doubles down his ass here. Actually, that, that one doesn't hurt. Now we read the ally switch. Now we read the ally switch. Now we read the ally switch. Or do we just double down into the other side? I'm going to read the ally switch here. I'm going to say, hey, yo, your ally switch 100%. And we taking you out. Go ahead, do it. Do it. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I'm so good. I'm so nasty at this game. This dude's gonna be so upset here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that read. That hard read. Get this dude out of my game. We're going 9 and 0 for series 11. 9 and 0. Let's go. Get him out of here. The reads. The hard reads, dude. We ain't even gonna Dynamax here. We ain't even gonna Dynamax here. Actually, we probably are. I'll probably Dynamax the search through here, but he's going to cancel the battle. Did we get to use Salamence at all? I feel like we got him in here a little bit. But we didn't Dynamax him or anything. This battle was this this battle was a good one. This third one was awesome. The first two battles was just Steam Engine Colossal going off. But this third and final was awesome. I'm going to Dynamax the search through. Drop a nice little G-Max Rapid Flow. Even though we have Max Knuckle, which is super effective. I'd rather just showcase first Fu. Hopefully he doesn't cancel, just so we can show it off. He cancels it. Dang it, man. 3-0 for today's video. Grabbing ourselves our first three video perfect records. That is my first time ever going 3-0 in three videos in a row. That is insane to me. Loving it so much. Absolutely loving Series 11 as we are now sitting 9-0. But this team was absolutely amazing. I loved it so much. Those first two battles, we just got that Steam Engine Colossal in there. Proc that weakness policy and dominated from there. And then that third and final battle, I really want to showcase Salamence and Dynamax Sim. But we just made some amazing plays and showed off our skills in this game. We read the Protect early on with the Calyrex, taking out the Trip Crew Mimikyu. And then we read that Ally Switch at the end, which just solidified that battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Thank you.